Hey everybody, today I wanted to make a quick video on how to get started with your carter picking. We're going to do seven exercises. We're going to use only the C chord shape with our left hand. Okay? I'm going to use a thumb pick where I'm going to be picking the bass notes and strumming or flailing with the nail of my first finger. Okay? You can also use a flat pick if that's how you prefer to do it. Okay? So, to get started, I'm going to play just the fifth string followed by a strum or flail with my first finger. I'm not going to be too precious about the top three strings, meaning I might just get the top two strings or I might include the fourth string. I'm aiming for the top three, but you know, I'm not going to be uh, too precise about that. I'm going to focus more on getting that rhythm in the feel, okay? So one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to replace the fifth string with that fourth string. Not moving that left hand, that's keeping that C shape. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Third string open and I'm going to be going for those top two strings. I might also hit that third string with the strum. It's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's combine some of these. We're going to go fifth, strum, fourth, strum. We're going to repeat that, getting used to the motion and the technique. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to pick the fourth and third strings. One, two, three, four. All right, now let's put it all together. Fifth, strum, fourth, strum, third, strum, fourth, strum, fifth. Okay, and always repeat them. That repetition will really make that right hand stronger. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now once you're comfortable with that, let's add in some scale tones, notes in the key that aren't in the chord. All right, um, between the notes C, and E, we have this note D. All right, so now we're gonna have a little bit of movement with our left hand, all right? So I'm gonna do it nice and slow here. All right, so we're adding that in between C and the E notes. So if we take the strumming away, it's getting used to some more motion with, or even some motion with that left hand. Let me do it a little faster. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do the same thing between this note on the fourth string in the chord, E, and our G, third string open, in the C major scale, we have that note F. It's in the scale or key, but not in the chord. So there again will be some motion. I'm going to take it off that fifth string, so 
idea of this shape here. So you're technically C over E, because E is the bottom note in the chord, and C over G, because the G is the bottom note, okay? But I'm really still thinking everything's wrapped around that big C shape. So let's put it all together, uh, from the C, to the G. All right. I'll do it slow and then I'll speed it up a bit. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I use that middle finger for the flail. Now I'll speed it up. The next step, keeping that same rhythm, you can improvise around that scale. So just a quick little example would be So I hope that helps you starting getting used to that technique of Carter picking. It's an awesome style. Maybell Carter is one of my favorite guitar players of all time. If you haven't listened to much to this style, I suggest you do. It's really um, fun to hear. Uh, all those old Carter family recordings are fantastic. And if you're interested in online lessons or lessons in person, if you're in the Austin, Texas area, you can visit cmaschoolofguitar.com and we can help you out. All right.